All right, what's good YouTube, it's Jay here, and today we're gonna to be back on some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. They did add a new shotgun, and over on Warzone, they added, you know, the boys, operator skins, like there's a, like a new field upgrade you can pick up, that will give you superpowers. And for some reason, people are really not happy with it, they're just complaining it's OP and broken. It is, but I think that's the point. It's just meant to be stupid fun, and I don't see a problem with that. Call of Duty's biggest issue is the fact that there is a lack of fun in the game. The way that they've designed the game has made it sort of unfun from the movement penalties. I don't think adding a special event with superpower characters and superpower abilities really is that bad. Like, I'm sure this is probably gonna be gone within a week or two, I don't really know. Even as a guy who is heavily involved with the competitive Call of Duty community, I still think the game needs to have fun sometimes. This is the kind of shit we need to make the game fun and entertaining at times. There's a reason Fortnite is still popular. They maintain the fun element of the game without sacrificing that for the sake of competitiveness. As long as it isn't in ranked, it shouldn't matter. So the shotgun we have to unlock is in the battle pass. We have to get, I think, 30 close range kills with shotguns in order to get this challenge done. We're over here on shipment. I don't know why I lost all the attachments on my pistol over here. See, stuff like that is the... Oh, dude, everybody's using shotguns, man. Holy cow. This is insane. All I hear is doof, 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 doof. All I hear is shotguns going off, man. We got to get this challenge done quickly and get this out of the way. See, since I have auto tactical sprint on, using a shotgun isn't that favorable for me, you know? This is insane. Yeah, oh my God, I spawned in front of him. I, I can't even think straight right now. All I hear is the sounds of hell in my ears with shotguns just blaring and VTOLs shooting missiles at me all day. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll just eat my words, man. Somebody's got a gunship. Somebody's got a literal gunship. This, this is just... I have no idea how to do this with tactical spriddle. It's a little awkward. Like, I think I am going to turn off auto attack sprint just so I can use this properly. Because, like, if I jump, I can I can walk. Like, if I hold down my jump button. Now, that's a little bit better. I still got to get point blank kills with this shit, too. And it's it just seems like it's going to be almost... For shipment, it's, it's feeling a little impossible for shipment right now. Everybody and their grandmother's using the shotgun. All this shit's going to be nerfed by the end of the week, more than likely. There's one? No? That doesn't count. What counts as a point blank in Call of Duty Logic? But am I actually able to see the progress of like me unlocking this thing? I don't know why they, why would they show it to you in the battle pass and not in this menu? Like I want to see the progress, like how far I'm make, I'm going. Like that's the, now stuff like that is like, those are the things people should complain about. Like stupid ass updates that are just meant for fun. Like this, that's the kind of shit that would annoy me, you know? Like why can't I see the progress, you know? Thank God we have shipment though, because sometimes they like to, they like to add challenges like this, and then take away the only game mode or the only map that's like the best to get the shit done on. You know, because nobody wants to try to get point blade maps on like those long range maps and shit. You know, point blade kills, not point blade. Oh my God, I feel like I just killed the same person three times, but I did it. They all have the same operator. I'm honestly having fun, surprisingly. Like. Shotgun spam isn't my usual go-to for Call of Duty. Maybe it's because I've played enough Cold War now over the last few days to kind of reset my multiplayer flavor, you know? Like, I still have my bombs with this game, but I don't know. I'm making the most of it right now. I'm just having a good time playing with the guns, you know, trying to get this stuff unlocked in the Battle Pass. Like, I definitely can't wait for the next Call of Duty uh, just because, I don't know, man, like, it's going to be basically a rehash of this game, and uh, I don't really know how that's going to go. I don't know how I don't kill them right there. But now the competitive season is over for Call of Duty and the CDL and whatnot, I kind of just don't care anymore. Yeah, this feels so weird trying to like hold my A button down. I, I just don't, I don't play like this, you know? Maybe I'll try ADS again, I don't know. I could just like do this, like where I swing like slot, like left to right in order to get the kills, you know? I really wish I could check the progress because I would want to know how close we are. I guess I just got to wait till I see the gun pop up on my screen and says I unlocked it. I don't really know. I feel like I don't really know is my go-to statement for a lot 
Okay. My go-to statement for a lot of things. I say I don't really know for a lot of things. That's like my number one sentence in almost 80% of my videos. I don't really know, but uh, I'm self-aware. I know, trust me. Jesus Christ, what is happening? Everything's just exploding. I am planning on making a video on Warzone 2, like with the new superhero shit, by the way. I really want to try it out. It looks like it's a lot of fun. I couldn't shoot. It's because I'm stuck on auto tactical sprint, dude. Like when you're like when you're stuck on the sprinting mechanic, dude, you can't shoot when you try to like pull the trigger sometimes. I don't know how much closer we are, but I got 50 kills that game and I'm not mad at it. It didn't click in my head till now, but I still didn't have this sector unlocked for some reason. So I have to unlock all this shit and then I get the gun. Oh, you have to do all this and unlock it? I just wasted my my cop voice or nothing. It's hitting operator ADS kills with shotties. I didn't realize there was a whole process, dude. I didn't realize what that was. I thought it was just a sector I didn't unlock, man. Okay. All right. I I'll see you literally when I unlock the actual shotgun. Oh, we okay, that challenge is done. Let's see. What do we got here? What are we working with? We got the MX Guardian. 20 levels. I see the platform. Um, Semi-auto trigger. That's right. This thing can go fully automatic, which is insane. Do you get the fully automatic like right off the rip? Burst fire trigger. Oh my God. It is fully auto right off the rip. Oh, baby. Hey, there it is. New shoddy. Yeah, for some reason, screenshot. Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, this thing is. N what the fuck? Oh no, this might be my favorite gun in the game. Oh my god. I right, got it to level two, too, which is kind of crazy. Gotta keep grabbing tags, too. That'll really help us level this thing up quicker. I can't see a goddamn thing because of these flashbangs. Dude, this, this feels insane. Wait a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? This this might be my favorite gun in the game, honestly. Level three already? Wow. Dude, this is nuts, man. I'm actually having way too much fun with this right now. Honestly, this is perfect for me for somebody who likes to just fuck around in Call of Duty, you know? I think it's time I learn how to have fun in Call of Duty again. Like, honestly, I'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you. Like, as much as I do like being, like, involved with the competitive community and stuff. Like, aside from the actual CDL, I'm, I, I like, and Warzone, you know, I'm gonna just have fun with multiplayer for the future. Like, just use the dumb shit and not really complain about what's broken unless it's, like, a broken fully auto weapon or something. Like the, what was it, the Tech 9 and BO Cold War? That thing's actually fucking stupid. I hate that gun. Same with the LC-10. Which is crazy considering they've nerfed both guns, like, a bajillion times, but... It still didn't really make a difference. I still wish they would change them up just a little bit more, but I'm just gonna try to have fun with stuff, you know? Like, I mean, no point in being mad about it all the time. Call of Duty's gonna go in this weird direction forever where they're just gonna be focused on money and making as much broken shit as they humanly can. And that's it, you know, like, what can you do about it? You know what I mean? That's why I was have fun with it while you can. Now, the core gameplay just sucks. Like, I like, I generally do not like the core gameplay of this game. That's a different story. Like, but if it's like, in terms of like guns and stuff they add to the game, I mean, who really cares, man? Just have fun, you know? Like, it's whatever. It really is in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying that as a way of I give up on them trying to balance it, but it's just like, I still think COD needs to kind of maintain that element of fun. We don't like being forced into this weird avenue of being having to force to play a certain way, like how slow they made the game and how weird they've made some of the guns. But then we also want it to be that exact way for other people in a way too, you know? Like, I, I get it, you know, like the, the only thing with COD I don't want them to do is focus on the people who play at max like an hour a day type shit. Like that's different, that's a different story. But in terms of like just guns and stuff they add to the game, I really don't care at this point what they add to the game. As long as the core gameplay doesn't really suck, that's all I really care about. Okay, wait, let's put some attachments on this. Do we have a lawn bear, movement speed, below velocity? Uh, we can do a semi-auto trigger, which I don't think I want to do. Let's put on this laser. Put on this. Uh, let's put on a Cronin Mini Pro, because why not? Literally. <laughs> this is the funnest shit they've ever added to this game, dude. This is the funnest gun they've ever added to this game, man. All right, maybe it isn't as insane as I thought it was. It's like it's like that new gun feel. Like whenever you unlock a new gun in Call of Duty, it just feels like it's. Just insane you know what i mean every time i took off a different gun and put on a new one it's just a, it felt like a different story you know what i mean with this game though it's kind of weird it feels like sometimes guns get weirdly worse 
Like, even though they buffed a lot of the attachments and stuff so they don't slow down your ADS and your movement speed anymore, something about, a, like, when you, and, and that's in any Call of Duty, when you get a new attachment, you put it on your gun, for some reason, your gun just becomes instantly worse, and I don't know why that phenomenon happens. It's like COD timing. All right, we are gonna have to put some, like, stability attachments on here or something, because this, this upkick is kind of crazy. I know you don't usually want to go, like, the, the ADS route with the shotty, but something about this one I like ADSing with. Like, it, it feels nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna start having fun with Call of Duties, you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be broken, it's gonna be pretty much Call of Duty till the end of time. I'm tired of being upset about shit you know that just won't change ever like there's no point bitching about like or like something is obviously always will need to be changed and adjusted like with the superpower stuff everything needs to be ultra competitive and ultra sweaty and ultra balanced video games still are meant to kind of be fun you know like, this isn't counter-strike i would never want call of duty to actually be counter-strike that's the thing like, even though i enjoy competitive call of duty like just like casual play st and stuff too like rank play that's one thing i would like it if rank play played like counter-strike we have all the properly balanced weapons in rank play so it isn't just a shit show you know what i mean but in terms of, like the casual lobbies and stuff i enjoy them being kind of hell sometimes you know that's why I want them to bring back like overlapping kill streaks proper, you know, smoother like gameplay movement, you know, like red dots on the minimap. For one, taking red dots on the minimap never made sense to me. I care about having fun too. And to be frank, my my idea of fun isn't just use these same two, you know, just all the guns are just I don't know. I, I like fun, stupid shit sometimes, man. This says broken is fun. Broken is fun sometimes. And that's okay. That doesn't mean I'm a shitter. It's good for a game to just have broken shit sometimes. It makes the game fun. It keeps it from being stale, you know? Like, you get it. You hear there's a new OP shotgun in the game. Like, you want to go use it. You want to fuck around with it. You want to just smash people's faces in with this damn thing. You know what I mean? I think we're almost done with it. We're at level 10. We're at 20 levels. Then we get to do the tuning and all that. I want tuning to go over the next Call of Duty. I don't like that mechanic. It just feels unnecessary. In my opinion, it doesn't offer any unique, like, gameplay change or whatever it just feels extra i think cod used to thrive when it was simpler like simple with fun like with chaos you know like verdansk verdansk was cool because it was simple you know like all the events were you know you'd, I, I, like the gameplay was just simple that's all it was and that's kind of what i miss about it you know i miss pick 10 i miss all that stuff too i don't ever expect it to come back by any means but i do miss it now unless treyarch just decides to go giga chat and not give a fuck and that would be amazing I'm gonna hit something, dude. I'm just gonna hold down this trigger. He's sitting in a corner on shipment, dude. Run around. Getting some freaking gunfights, man. Dude, if there's a long barrel for this, this actually might actually just be a, a little too OP. I want to try this out. I saw a clip from FaZe Booyah. He did like a boost jump with the new superpowers and stuff. Like he jumped across the map, landed in somebody's face, shotgunned him. It, it was honestly kind of cool. Like, I want to use that trolley shit, man. That guy on the top of my team is 84 kills, dude. Jesus Christ. That's a new shotgun. Uh, I'm gonna take some time to finish leveling it up, I guess, and uh, get that all taken care of. I don't know what, the, what else we have left to unlock. I don't think there's an extended mag or anything from what I'm understanding. I think we still have one more barrel to unlock, and I think it's this one. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, this, this is a strong one right here, baby. That's the long range baby right there. But uh, yeah, everything else has been is kind of... Now, we do have fire ammo with this, I'm pretty certain. Most shotguns do have fire ammo attachments, so... Woo, baby, this is gonna be something else, man. But all right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on the sub to the channel for gaming content. As always, this has been Jay the Gamer. See you later.